Welcome back to the channel. Hi, how are you? I'm so glad that you are here today and in today's video. This is going to be my Beautylish Extra Large Lucky Bag. So guys, uh, if you have never been here before, hi, welcome. My name is Jeannie, and please do take a minute if you have never been here before and click on the big red subscribe button down below. This is my Beautylish Lucky Bag. This is a box bag that I look forward to every year. I get this once a year. If you are not familiar with this, um, they do offer this in the Japanese tradition of Fukubukuro, and that is where the merchants um, in Japan uh, do a tradition of a lucky bag where you buy something for a certain price and then the contents of your bag are usually double of that price. Um, generally, Beautylish does offer two of these bags. Um, they offer a small and a large lucky bag and they offer a regular and a Jeffree Star lucky bag. And these do go on sale the day after Christmas and they ship generally around the 15th of January. So I do try my best to get the lucky bag in the extra large regular every year and so far I have been lucky enough to get my hands on the extra large bags. So in today's video Video. Uh, let's go ahead and open up and see what I got. Remember that this is a mystery bag. So it's a little bit like gambling. You never know what you're going to get. And because it's a mystery bag, then it's a mystery. So, you know, <laughs> um, I try really hard to be thankful for what I get the um, the contents. Some years are really, really good. Sometimes you get an extra lucky, lucky bag. Sometimes um, not uh, so much that you're lucky. Sometimes you get things that you really, really want. Sometimes not so much. But again, if you don't uh, like a mystery bag, don't purchase one. Just because the dollar amount will be double don't mean that you're going to like what's in the bag. You know, Beautylish doesn't guarantee that you're going to like what you receive. So, you know, buyer beware. So again, I am going to open this and see what I got. So, um, this year I have watched, um, because you guys know that I'm nosy and I can't uh, handle <laughs> not knowing what's coming in the boxes. I get so excited. I can't stand myself and I just, oh, I have to know. So anyway, um, this year the paper, and that is one of the things that I look the most forward to, is what is the paper going to look like in the box. And this year I am so excited because um, it is a giant uh, calligraphy letter. And so it says, Lucky Bags are Japanese New Year a custom that inspired us to create our own. The Japanese character on this year's Lucky Bag, which means dawn or daybreak, uh, symbolizes new beginnings after a challenging year. And we did have such a challenging year. And it doesn't quite seem to be over yet, but we hope these surprises inside help you welcome 2021 with hope and light. Lucky Bag 2021 Beauty Lish Calligraphy by Aoi Yamaguchi. So, yes, I am so excited to have this piece of paper. It is absolutely beautiful, and it is a big poster size piece of paper. Uh, that looks like this. It's just absolutely beautiful and I always save all of my papers. So very happy to have this as much as I am the box. So yes, I will definitely be saving my paper this year. It's absolutely beautiful. 
So then we get into the box and I do have a bag of goodies here. And then um, the very first thing that I see is the um, Holly Frog Sunapee Sacred Sea Brightening Powder Wash. And um, it is uh, not all skin concerns require an elaborate response, but when your skin has been looking and feeling a bit meh, uh, Sunapee is a gentle nudge towards smoother, brighter, happy skin. So it is a concentrated powder uh, formula and it makes um, it travel friendly as well. So let's see, this is um, Holly Frog Sunapee Sacred Sea Brightening Powder Wash. So I'm assuming it says that uh, a wash for any skin type, even uh, sensitive ones, um, in need of a fine tune-up. So yeah, there is powder inside. I'm assuming that you just mix it with a little bit of water. So anxious to try that. And um, I love the holly frog inside of the boxes. That is so cute on the inside. So let me get my phone and I will tell you Holly Frog is not a cheap brand. So this is, this is a $44 value. Then we have another product that is outside of the pouch and it is the Lena Chew and I have been dying to try these lipsticks. So this is the Lena Chew um, and there are four lipsticks inside and these look like mini lipsticks. It says it is um, the Great Artist Velvet Matte Lipstick Mini Size. Yes, so this is um, number seven and I'll let you see that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Give you a little swatch here. Oh, very pretty. This is kind of a terracotta-ish color. Then we have um, number 18, which is a bright uh, pink shade. Then uh, number three, which is kind of a, a berry, almost a wine, but not quite deep enough. So more on this shade of a more on the lines of a true berry and then oh a very deep wine shade that looks like this and there is a uh, Chinese it looks to be oh definitely Chinese character right on the front and I don't know that it's going my my camera is going to pick that up but it's so pretty that is a beautiful deep wine shade. But those are the four colors. I like all four. They're very, very pretty. Definitely don't mind the mini size either to that. I like that they come in um, their own little pack where you can just keep them separated out easily to find. So that's very, very nice. And the inside of the pack looks like this. And that is a $55 value. And then in the pack, I have a pack right here of goodies. And in the pack, I have the Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Patches from Good Molecules. I do have this product. I love this product. This is a very good product from Good Molecules. And this has a value of $18. And it says get 
a bright wide awake look no matter how much sleep you got the night before with caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches from good molecules they are caffeine infused hydrogel masks that work to brighten hydrate and reduce puffiness around the eyes in just 10 minutes and these are wonderful good molecules sent these to me whenever they first uh, launched these products and they are great and I am down to the very last little bit and I definitely need more of these and I love this product. Um, just so you do know, um, I believe these might have licorice, is, I want to think that um, they do have licorice and I know that that is something that some people cannot use. Let me look, just so you know. Um, uh, da -da. I just want to be sure that um, they do have um, sodium hyaluronate, uh, they do have caffeine, niacinamide, um, so a lot of great, great ingredients. I love the Good Molecules line because they have um, just such high quality ingredients. They're reporting what is in their ingredient deck. Um, it's got aloe leaf juice it does have licorice so Catherine if you're watching this baby um, these do have licorice so just so you know um, then um, I got the uh, the Sonia G brush that I got in my uh, lucky bag usually you're gonna get some type of a brush, either Sun Yuji or Wayne Goss, and I got a beautiful um, piece to the Fundamentals set, and this is the Crease 2. Love this so much. I'm not sure. I don't think that I have this one. I think this is one of the ones that I do not have. The Crease 2 is a $34 brush. Then I received a product from Orbe and this is the Gold Lust All Over Oil. It's for hair, body, and face. This is the outer packaging. I do use body oils, hair oils, face oils. I do use a lot of oils. And this is a be beautiful, this is actually a very beautiful bottle. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Very happy that I, uh, if I'm gonna get an Orbe product, that this was the one that I got. I got the Cote d'Azur uh, hand cream last year and I would much rather have gotten a body oil. So, mm, yeah, much rather have gotten this. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm quite okay with this yeah okay and this uh, product let's see product is a $62 value wow yeah Orme is not a cheap product by any means then I also received the hourglass ambient um, strobe lighting blush and this is in incandescent electra i am not going to open this at all i do have incandescent electra i will show you mine this is what it looks like right here so um this one um i will just hold back for a giveaway at a future date but that product is $40 value. So um, the Hourglass blush is very, very nice. I love Hourglass products, powders. They are just beautiful on especially uh, mature skin like I have. So definitely can't go wrong with Hourglass. So I will put that in a giveaway. I did get the mini 
Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. I definitely won't use this. It's in a silver and a um, dark gray, almost a black. These are on sale uh, for 50% off. They are uh, right now, uh, they are $12.50 on the uh, Beautylish website, regular $25. They are in the mini size. So, you know, I won't use them. I'll just put them in a giveaway. They're probably a beautiful product, but I won't use them. Um, I did get a Pure Silk Skinny Scrunchie in pink. I do use these. I I have one in my hair right now. <laughs> I definitely use these. This is just a single one. I don't know that they they actually sell these in singles. Uh, I cannot find a price for just a single, you know, hair, hair scrunchie. So definitely could not find one, but I'm totally okay with receiving a pink one. I don't know if I have pink or not. Um, but I definitely got the size that I like, which are the smaller ones, not the big ones. So, totally will use this, definitely. And then the eyeshadow palette that I got um, is the uh, Tom Ford. This is the Tom Ford Extreme Eyeshadow Palette in 01 Badass. And um, I had actually bought this and I had heard a review that made me send this back. I, <laughs> just to let you know, <laughs> peeked inside this box. <laughs> if you know anything about my channel, you know I've peeked inside this box. I am wearing this eyeshadow quad um, in this look tonight. Um, I wanted to try this because when I had ordered this before, this is an $88 eyeshadow quad. When I had ordered this before and I saw the reviews coming in negatively, I just did not even swatch it. I didn't try it. I just sent it back. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to damage the quad. So I went ahead and I used it tonight and I actually am very pleased with the way that this look came out. I like the eyeshadow uh, quad. I'm pretty stunned that um, <laughs> I'm pretty stunned at how well that I like this quad. I like it more than a lot of the Tom Ford eyeshadow quads that I have. So um, I'm 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 very good with this box actually and I think this was a really good box in retrospect thinking about it because I have so many products from Beautylish that had I gotten a different box I would have probably given my box away and in retrospect, I'm really happy with the box because I will end up keeping the contents of my box except for these two products right here. These are the only two products that I will gift, give away, put in a giveaway, not keep for myself. So I think that is pretty good because a lot of times when I do a mystery box, when I get a box, I end up giving most of the contents away. So for that, thank you Beautylish. I think you did really good this year. Um, I think my box was a great box for me, for my collection. I've really added to my collection. What have I put in my collection? A hair oil that, a body oil, that I really did need a really good body oil, hair oil that's in a gorgeous bottle. Love it. Um, the Lena Chews I have been wanting to try so bad. I really, really like this product a lot. I'm actually loving the Tom Ford Extreme Eye Quad. I'm wearing it. I love the look. Very nice. 
a product that I have and love, which are the Caffeine Energizing Eye Gels. Love this, love this brand. This is one of the best brands out there on the market for skincare. Use the slips all the time. And then I have the um, Holly Frog uh, Brightening Powder Wash, and I will use this. So I think I did really, really good this year. So that is my Beautylish Extra Large Lucky Bag. I think I got pretty lucky. I think I got a lot of good stuff. So let me add it up and see what the value was. So I paid $176.55 total shipping tax everything to my door for my lucky bag my value three hundred and fifty three dollars and fifty cents so i think i did pretty good for what i got and i only had two items two very small items that i will be gifting this year so I think I did pretty good. I'm really happy. This year, I, I really ended up adding a lot of items to my collection. And I have to say, you know, I am really, really happy with the iQuad from Tom Ford. So, yeah, I, um, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm over the moon with this year's bag. So yeah, you'll have to let me know if um, you got one of the uh, extra large lucky bags, what you thought of it. Um, did you get something different in your bag? And did you like your bag? How did you feel about the bags this year? They are hit or miss. Again, it is a mystery bag, but I am so thankful for the products that I uh, got in my bag and I am thankful for having the opportunity just to get one of the bags and I am thankful for the blessings that I have that I am able to um, even afford to get one of these bags. So thank you so much for tuning in and for watching my video and I hope to see you in my next video but until then, smooches everybody. Until next time, bye for now.